Old film. Old is the 2021 American thriller film written, directed, and co-produced by M. Night Shyamalan, loosely based on the French-language Swiss graphic novel Sandcastle by Pierre-Oscar Levy and Frederick Peters. The film's ensemble cast includes Gail Garcia Bernal, Vicky Cripes, Rufus Sewell, Alex Wolf, Thomason McKenzie, Abby Lee, Nikki Amuka Bird, Ken Leung, Eliza Scanlon, Aaron Pierre, Embeth Davids, and Eamon Elliott. The film follows a group of people who find themselves aging rapidly on a secluded beach from which they cannot escape. The film was announced in October 2019 after Shyamalan read the graphic novel by Levy and Peters. The cast joined the following summer, with filming taking place from September to November in the Dominican Republic. It marked the first film of Shyamalan's career to have no shooting take place around his hometown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Following a delay attributed to the COVID-19 pandemic, Old was theatrically released on July 23, 2021, in the United States by Universal Pictures. The film has received mixed reviews from critics, who praised the film's premise and cinematography but criticized its screenplay, Shyamalan's directing, dialogue and uneven execution. Contents. One plot. Two cast. Three production. Four release. Five reception. 5.1 box office, 5.2 critical response, 6 references, 7 external links, plot edit, married couple Guy and Priska travel to a tropical resort with their young children Trent and Maddox as a final family vacation before they divorce. On the advice of the resort's manager, the family visits a secluded beach also occupied by three additional vacationing parties, rapper mid-size sedan and a female companion, Serge and Charles. His wife Crystal, their young daughter Kara, and Charles's mother Agnes, and married couple Jaron and Patricia. Tragedy strikes the group's vacation when the body of mid-sized sedan's companion is discovered, which is followed by Agnes suddenly dying. Strange events soon occur, including the three children becoming teenagers. The group realizes that the beach is rapidly aging them, resulting in their health deteriorating. They also notice that at least one member of each family has an underlying medical condition. Efforts to leave result in the members of the group blacking out and waking up on the beach. Amid the group struggling to find a way off the beach, Trent and Maddox discover the notebook of a previous traveler, along with indications of them being watched by an unknown individual. The attempts to leave grow more tense when Charles's worsening schizophrenia leads to him killing mid-sized sedan. Jaren and Kara perish during their escape attempts while Patricia and Crystal die from their medical conditions becoming exacerbated. Charles eventually attacks Guy at night, but Prisca slashes him with a rusted knife, causing a fatal infection. As the night winds down, an elderly Guy and Prisca make amends before dying moments apart from each other. With only the now adult Maddox and Trent remaining by the next morning, Trent revisits a secret message given to him by the manager's nephew, which he deduces is connected to an underwater coral passage. Suspecting that the passage will allow him and Maddox to not lose consciousness while leaving the beach, he and his sister start swimming through the coral. After they fail to emerge from the water, a resort employee monitoring them reports that the entire group has died. It is revealed that the resort is a front for a research team conducting clinical trials of new medical drugs, with the guests suffering from conditions being used as unwitting test subjects. Since the beach accelerates the lives of the guests, the researchers have been able to complete the drug's lifetime trials within a day. The researchers move forward with luring a new group to the beach but are interrupted by the arrival of Trent and Maddox, who survived their underwater swim. Using the notebook as evidence of several guests going missing, the siblings are able to bring the police to the resort. Once the researchers are arrested, Trent and Maddox head home to live with their aunt, uncertain of their future. Cast Edit Gail Garcia Bernal is Guy Kappa, an actuary married to Prisca and the father of Trent and Maddox. Vicky Cripes as Prisca Kappa, a museum curator with a stomach tumor married to Guy and the mother of Trent and Maddox. Rufus Sewell has Charles, a schizophrenia-battling doctor married to Crystal, the father of Kara, and Agnes's son. Alex Wolf and Eamon Elliott as Trent Kappa, Guy and Prisca's son and Maddox's younger brother. Wolf plays the 15-year-old Trent and Elliot plays Trent as an adult. The 6-year-old Trent is played by Nolan River and 11-year-old Trent is played by Luca Faustino Rodriguez. Thomason McKenzie and Embeth Davids is Maddox Kappa, Guy and Prisca's daughter and Trent's older sister. McKenzie plays the 16-year-old Maddox and Davids plays Maddox as an adult.
Alexis Winton plays 11-year-old Maddox. Abby Lee is Crystal, Charles's wife, Kara's mother, and Agnes's daughter-in-law who has hypocalcemia. Nikki Amuka Bird is Patricia Carmichael, an epileptic psychologist married to Jaren. Ken Leung is Jaren Carmichael, a nurse and Patricia's husband. Eliza Scanlon is Kara, Charles and Crystal's daughter and Agnes's granddaughter. Scanlon plays the 15-year-old Kara, while Kyle Bailey portrays Kara at 6 and Micaiah Fisher portrays Kara at 11. Aaron Pierre is mid-sized sedan, Brendan, a rapper afflicted with hemophilia. Kathleen Chaffin is Agnes, Charles's mother, Crystal's mother-in-law and Kara's grandmother. Additionally, Gustav Hamarston portrays the resort manager. Featured as employees of the resort are Francesca Eastwood as Madrid and Matthew Shear as Sydney. Kaylin Jude plays Idlub, the manager's nephew. Director M. Night Shyamalan appears as the resort employee who drives the guests to the beach. Production Edit It was announced in October 2019 that Shyamalan was partnering with Universal Studios to release two new thriller films which he would write, produce and direct. After Shyamalan read the graphic novel Sandcastle by Pierre Oscar Levy and Frederick Peters, a gift his daughter gave him for Father's Day, he decided he wanted to adapt the graphic novel into a film and optioned the rights for the story. In May 2020, Eliza Scanlon, Thomason McKenzie, Aaron Pierre, Alex Wolf, and Vicky Kripe centered negotiations to join the cast. Their castings would be confirmed the next month, along with Abby Lee, Nikki Amuka Bird, and Ken Leung added to the cast. Gail Garcia Bernal would join in July. In August 2020, Rufus Sewell, Embeth Davidson, and Eamon Elliott joined the cast of the film. Alexis went and joined the cast shooting in September 2020. In December 2020, Nolan River joined the cast of the film. Principal photography officially began on September 26, 2020, in the Dominican Republic along with the announcement of the film's title. This marks the first time Shyamalan has filmed entirely outside Greater Philadelphia. Production concluded on November 15, 2020. On June 18, 2021, at the New York Tribeca Talks, in a conversation with Alex Wolf, Shyamalan described the movie as a Bergman blockbuster. Release Edit The film was released on July 23, 2021. It was initially set for release on February 26 that same year, but was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was released on July 21, 2021, in France, Belgium and Romandie. Reception Edit Box Office Edit As of July 25, 2021, Old has grossed $16.5 million in the United States and Canada, and $6.5 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $23 million. In the United States and Canada, Old was released alongside Snake Eyes and Joe Bell, and was projected to gross twelve dollars minus fifteen million from three thousand three hundred fifty-five theaters in its opening weekend. The film made six point nine million dollars on its first day, including one point five million dollars from Thursday night previews. It went on to debut to sixteen point three million dollars, topping the box office. It was the sixth film of Shyamalan's to open at number one, though it marked the lowest opening weekend of his career. Critical Response Edit On review aggregator our website, Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 51% based on 207 reviews, with an average rating of 5.510. The site's critics' consensus reads, Old has no shortage of interesting ideas, and writer-director M. Night Shyamalan's uneven execution will intrigue or annoy viewers with little middle ground between. According to Metacritic, which assigned a weighted average score of 54 out of 100 based on 48 critics, the film received mixed or average reviews. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of C+, on an A+-F scale, while PostTrack reported 61% of audience members gave it a positive score, with 37% saying they would definitely recommend it. Double A Doubt of the AV Club praised the film's cinematography while criticizing the dialogue, ultimately declaring that old proves Shyamalan knows a thing or two about the human condition. Even as the basics of human conversation continue to elude him. Writing for Variety, Owen Gleiberman praised the film's premise, but said that Shyamalan doesn't explore it so much as he throws ideas against the wall, and wrote, Old, like most Shyamalan movies, has a catchy hook along with some elegant filmmaking gambits. But instead of developing his premise in an insidious and powerful way, the writer-director just keeps throwing a lot of things at you. 
Joe Morgenstern of The Wall Street Journal described the film as peerlessly clumsy, silly and alarmed, adding, it's also alarming for its ineptitude, but the film's greatest distinction is how its wide-eyed, trembling vacationers manage to sustain a state of alarm that's intense and unrelenting. Richard Roper of the Chicago Sun-Times gave the film a score of two out of four stars in his review, in which he praised the film's premise and cinematography, but described it as a thudding disappointment with surprisingly wooden performances from fine actors and some of the most excruciatingly awful dialogue in any movie this year. He added that the film occasionally plays like an overlong episode of The Twilight Zone, only with a much bigger budget and location shooting. Richard Brody of The New Yorker was more positive in his review of the film, writing, Shyamalan has created a splendid throwback of a science fiction thriller that develops a simple idea with stark vigor and conveys the straight-faced glee of realizing the straightforward logic of its enticing absurdity. He added that the film takes place in a dramatic bubble that, if it's poked a touch too hard, will quickly pop. But while it's afloat it's both iridescent and melancholy. David Sims of The Atlantic wrote that the film has plenty of the clunky dialogue that defines Shyamalan's work but added. The central conceit of old has so much juice, and Shyamalan gets to explore so many fun if sadistic avenues over the course of one very long day. It's his most ambitious work in years, wrapped in the delightful, tidy packaging of a pulpy thriller. Barry Hertz of The Globe and Mail described the film as pure chaos and a feverishly earnest look at mortality, responsibility and, um, well, I wish that I could explain just what I think Shyamalan is getting at in his final 15 minutes. He added, Shyamalan is clearly having the time of his life. There are wild camera placements, stilted the dialogue that runs in circles, dumb dumb plot holes, a bizarre determination to have his performers act as unnaturally as possible, and, yes, an obscenely fat twist.